That's very kind. Thank you very much. Another piece of consciousness raising. You've all seen maps of the world showing what people believe in different places. In the blue area, they're Catholic. In the red area, they're Protestant. In the orange area, they're Eastern Orthodox. In the green area, they're Sunni, Muslim, and so on. And we all take that perfectly for granted. It seems entirely natural that people's opinions about the cosmos, about morality, about humanity, should depend upon the accident of geography where they happen to have been born. Suppose scientists worked like that. <laughs> Take a difficult and interesting scientific issue. Take, for example, the question of what made the dinosaurs go extinct. Was it an asteroid hitting the Earth? Was it a comet? Was it the rise of the mammals? Was it a plague of viruses? All these different theories have something going for them. In the blue area, <laughs> the scientists all believe that it was a meteorite. In the red area, they believe it was a comet. In the orange area, a virus plague. In the green area, the eggs of the dinosaurs were all eaten, etc. <laughs> I hope yet again to have raised consciousness. We all take for granted that it's okay for religion to be distributed geographically in that kind of way. And yet we immediately see, when, you, when I show you a map like this, how totally ridiculous that is. Why do we all accept it as though it were natural and sensible and the way things should be? Here's another exercise in consciousness raising, again using the example of the scientific controversy over what made the dinosaurs go extinct. The Quarterly Review of Biology is a journal in which biologists publish their findings, their research. I'm, I have edited an imaginary spoof issue of the Quarterly Review of Biology, devoted, as they sometimes are, to a particular topic, namely the topic, did an asteroid kill the dinosaurs? The first paper would be a perfectly respectable and normal scientific paper. Iridium layer at KT boundary and potassium argon dated crater in Yucatan indicate that an asteroid killed the dinosaurs. Nobody would be surprised to see a paper like that in any scientific journal. The president of the Royal Society has been vouchsafed a strong inner conviction that an asteroid killed the dinosaurs. It has been privately revealed <laughs> to Professor Huxdane that an asteroid killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> Professor Haldley has been brought up to have total and unquestioning faith <laughs> that an asteroid killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> Professor Hawkins has promulgated an official dogma binding on all loyal Hawkinsians <laughs> that an asteroid killed the dinosaurs. Professor Huxkins is personally offended by all strident, shrill, and polemical denials that an asteroid killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> Professor Hallux derives deep personal comfort <laughs> from his belief that an asteroid killed the dinosaurs. The president of the National Academy of Sciences has issued a fatwa 